Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dave, welcome to the channel. So with all the hype going on with the uh, iPhone 12 series that was just recently released, you know, you may be in line for an upgrade. The only unfortunate part is that your upgrade may not be an iPhone 12. So for those people whose upgrade is in line with an, I with an iPhone 11 series iPhone, I thought just to make an iPhone 11 series case review. So just like a case overview for those people who are upgrading to the iPhone 11. So these cases are some of my favorite cases and I think some of the best in my opinion. So let's get into the review and see what we got. The first case that we have on hand is Apple's leather case in the saddle brown colorway. Now this case comes in at $50. You know, Apple says it's made from European leather and it's also ha it also has aluminum finished buttons as well. There is a microfiber lining inside that in a way protects the iPhone from scratches. This case color, the saddle brown color, has been my favorite case since the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I have right here in my hand. Uh, my favorite feature about the case is its patina. I love the way this case patinas from this very, very vibrant brown to what you see right here. One reason a lot of people may not like the Apple leather cases is that because out of the box, they come super slippery. So this is a type of phone that if you are someone that drops your phone a lot, this is not the case for you. I don't drop my phone frequently, so it's just fine. I also have Apple's leather case in a black colorway as well. In my opinion, Apple's leather cases are the way to go. I'm only showing the black leather case because it is my preferred case. Uh, this is the case that I go back to every single time, um, whether or not I had a, a case on my phone or maybe I was using another case for some reason. Um, I always go back to this case. This is the case that I carry with me every day, whether I'm going to going for a walk, going to the gym. Next case we have on hand is the Mouse Limitless 3.0. So if you've ever watched uh, any case reviews online, you will know exactly who Mouse is or the company. These are the guys that are dropping the iPhones as soon as they purchase them off cranes and throwing them up in the air. And it's a solid built case. It does exactly what they claim it does. It's extreme drop protection. And this is the case that I put on my phone whenever I'm going out with the kids, going out with the family, I'm, I'm expecting to spend the entire day out. So I always put this case on, you know, so it, ha it's, it has some magnetic mounting features on the back. So you can attach like a wallet or like a car mount on the back to it. So one thing that I love about this case is the raised edges that are at the ends of the phone, but not on the sides of the phone. I wish other case manufacturers did this because it just gives the case a better aesthetic. It allows you to hold it and grip it from the sides a whole lot better. And at the same time, you don't have to worry about your phone scratching um, while it's facing, while, while it's face down. Mouse Limitless 3.0 has a lot of good selling points, but their main selling point is their air shock technology. Pretty much when you drop your phone, that green rubbery lining that you see on the inside of the phone, it pretty much just absorbs the kinetic energy from the impact that's um, being transferred from the concrete to your phone. So in a way, this air shock technology just absorbs it. Next phone case that we have is Nomad's Rugged Case. You can find this case for $50 on Nomad's website. And I, to be honest, I don't think there is a YouTube tech reviewer that does not have a Nomad product on their desk, whether it's Nomad's charging station, Apple Watch Band, uh, AirPods case, or even the iPhone case that I have here in my hand. Nomad makes great products. If you like Apple's leather case, but you're a little bit concerned about it being too slippery or not enough protection with Apple's leather case, then I think you'll probably like Nomad's rugged case instead. This is a rustic brown color. The case is made up of polycarbonate and TPU, but what's really cool is that the TPU edge is actually raised, which is really nice. So in case you were worried about um, the screen of your phones getting scratched, and there's their Horwing leather that they uh, boast about on the back, and also has like a microfiber lining 
on the inside and very minimal Nomad branding, which is really good too. I would honestly say if you're not a big fan of Apple's leather case, this might be the best choice for you for your iPhone 11. And the final case in the lineup is from Urban Armor Gear. This is from their Plyo series. This case comes in at $40. Now, I had never heard of Arbor Armor Gear before, but I remember watching a YouTube video um, from this guy's page called Everything April Pro, I think it is. And he was on a 50-foot tower dropping iPhones with cases down to the ground. And the case that protected the iPhone the best from his, from his studies was the Urban Armor Gear. The case, the phone never cracked when it was inside an Urban Armor Gear case. So I immediately went to their website, checked out their lineup, and the Plyo series was the one that I liked the best, especially if you're someone that's interested in a clear case. So it's mostly made of, t it's just TPU and polycarbonate. So you'll get some yellowing on the edges, but it's not too bad, like some other cases that you'll find on Amazon. But this is probably the, I think this is the slimmest case in their lineup. So this is my Apple 11 series case lineup. I've got Apple's leather case in the saddle brown colorway, the mouse limitless 3.0 in the aramid fiber, Nomad's leather case in the rustic brown, and Urban Armor Gear in the Plyo series, the ice colorway. And finally, Apple's leather case in black. Now this has been my overview of the best cases in my opinion for the iPhone 11 series. I don't believe you can go wrong with any of these cases. Whichever one you decide to go with, I believe it'll be the best bet you can make. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to get more updates for content like this. Over and out.